This will be a short Marathon Oxair uh, explanation. Uh, as you know, if you have a Marathon, this is an O2 uh, Marathon H, uh, you have that, uh, you probably have that yellow valve there. And what that does is that uh, separates the Prevo Oxair from the Marathon Oxair. Uh, right now you can see that my Prevo Oxair, I've got almost 120 pounds, I'm feeding it with shop air. Uh, but on the marathon side, if you look back there, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, that's my marathon auxiliary tank pressure, and it's at zero. Uh, there's the floor slide, same thing. Uh, the marathon aux system feeds the floor slide uh, in uh, on an H, the uh, footrest, uh, generator airbag, uh, seat, um, pocket doors, and bed lift, um, and that uh, that system is uh, that air system is charged uh, with the marathon auxiliary compressor that is located on the back of the generator. There's the location of the uh, the marathon uh, aux compressor, and uh, as you can see, uh, my generator airbags uh, are still at zero because the system hasn't been charged. On my bus, the uh, Marathon aux compressor button uh, is beside the driver on the uh, on the, on the uh, panel. So the auxiliary drain for Prevo is the uh, Norgren filter located right here that we covered in the other video, and the drain for the Marathon uh, is on the uh, curbside first bay that I just showed you. On my bus, the uh, Marathon Auxiliary Air Tank is located behind this panel. Uh, you have to uh, remove two screws and uh, remove the compartment for the chairs, and the, uh, the tank is uh, right behind that. This is the drain for the Marathon Aux Tank. Some of the buses are different. Um, and the aux tank may be behind the fender, uh, may be under the front bumper. Uh, they're in different locations. But that valve, since the Marathon aux air is uh, charged from the uh, aux compressor in the generator bay, that makes a lot of water. So I drain this valve every day when we're using the bus. And, uh, and every time I drain it, there'll be a little bit of moisture out of it. So if you can't find that valve uh, on your bus, it's really important that you locate it because uh, we've had a lot of the air tanks uh, made of steel that were full of uh, rusty water and rust and uh, were in bad shape. So uh, whatever you do, find that valve wherever it may be, open it up and see what you've got. When we're using uh, our marathon uh, for an extended period of time, it's not unusual for the uh, aux air to be down to zero. Uh, there are some small leaks somewhere. Uh, I really don't care. I don't worry about it uh, because uh, we don't need it uh, to, uh, to use the bus while camping. Uh, as you can see, the marathon system is charged with the uh, aux compressor, so uh, Everything in the bus, uh, including the uh, uh, floor slide, uh, generator, bags, uh, everything has air to it. So when I get ready to go, uh, before I start the engine, I don't like to, uh, to start with, uh, with zero aux air because the belts are loose. I threw a belt one time and it's, it's just something I don't want to do. I, I like to charge the air up uh, before I start so that the belts are tight. Uh, so on a marathon, all you have to do, uh, I've got marathon aux air up, so you just take the yellow valve and find the two systems. And if I had the aux compressor on, this would continue to build air uh, up uh, above 100 pounds. Then I know that, uh, uh, that the belts are tight and no chance of uh, one flipping off. Um, this, uh, this yellow valve on a marathon uh, is in the normally closed position 
uh, when you're driving or using the bus.